others into amateur detectives, and many are going to bat for a man serving life for murder. Dean Reynolds has this. Thanks to a show on Netflix, the website Change.org has a big hit on its hands. We have Stephen Avery in custody, though. In less than a month, more than a quarter of a million people around the world have signed a petition on the site demanding justice for a man in prison for life and featured in a Netflix documentary. Mike Jones is with Change.org. For it to go from a few thousand signatures to upwards of a quarter million signers is phenomenal. Really shows that this petition is tapping into a national conversation. I didn't know what to do, how to handle it. It's all due to this series, Making a Murderer, launched last month, which tells the story of Stephen Avery. He's the Wisconsin man who served 18 years in prison for rape before being exonerated in 2003. We, the jury, find the defendant guilty of... Only to find himself in prison again on a murder conviction in 2007. Since its debut, millions of viewers have spent hours binge-watching it and discussing the case in online chat rooms. Many viewers concluded Avery was framed by authorities who lied and planted evidence. Ken Kratz, who prosecuted Avery and is now receiving death threats, says the series is misleading. Absolutely. Stephen Avery is right where he needs to be. Uh, that's uh, uh, in prison. Uh, for the rest of his natural life. Avery's lawyer, Dean Strang, says, though, that the reaction to the series has included useful information for the defense. We can't afford not to at least sift and consider something that might be useful to one human being who right now is facing a slow death in prison. Here in Wisconsin, Governor Scott Walker has the power to pardon someone, but during two terms in office, he has never used it. And Scott, his aides say he is not going to change that strategy now. Dean Reynolds in Madison Forest tonight. Dean, thank you very much. The Justice Department takes